<laughs> hello, hello. Okay, I need to turn this up. Hey, it's too, it's too much power. <laughs> and boss. Okay, well that was uh, that was cool. Thanks everyone for being here. So cool to have you here in this live stream. I haven't done a live stream in a long time. I've been doing streams on our Discord channel, which is like suddenly like click. I'll start sharing my screen and just like quietly share my screen while I vectorize stuff. Uh, but no announcement or anything and only exclusive access to those in the Discord channel. Subscribe to the Discord channel, smash that like button and all that stuff. I need to look at my setup. I'm getting my setup. It's a pretty, uh, hold on, I don't know if you can see this. Oh my God, can you hear? Were you able to hear me in the beginning? Oh my God, it's so easy to touch. Like here, there's a mute button right there. <laughs> and I think I pressed it accidentally. It's so easy to mess this up. It's like the cable just like easily pops up. Easily you can press that. I should put some tape over the mute button. I'm so sorry. How unprofessional of me. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> so, hold on. You didn't... Oh, my God. Like, all this time, no sound? Was, this, was there sound at least in the beginning? Okay. Anyway, let's get started. Let's continue. I'm really excited. Yeah, only at the beginning, though. Now we can hear you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to just like uh, go over here. Uh, 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 I think there's a way. Oh, no. Yeah, so um, today we're let's get, let's get to it. So after all that disaster, let me show you my screen. Let's go over here. And oh, apparently my, my camera is not working. I need to select the camera here. How unprofessional, Pablo. Okay, cool. So today, today's agenda, we're going to see the progress of two uh, little projects. One that is called Under Attack. It's a game that we are creating. It's not muted. Uh, and then another one, it's just uh, some templates that, were, that I'm, I'm, I'm creating. I'm starting to create. I'm just going to release them for everyone to just like uh, do their own thing with Robotos. Uh, so let's, uh, and then for what we're actually here, it's just like, hey, go into Dario's collab. Actually, you can see some of that stuff here, like uh, the sketch. And I'm just going to start vectorizing the artwork. So, uh, Under Attack is a game, um, for those who have been following, it's a game that we're going to be uh, creating uh, inside the Roboto land, so for all Roboto holders. Um, and just like, wanted to show you some of the progress on the art. On the artwork, it's just uh, right now been creating all the uh, different uh, buildings and then creating the buildings like part of the game is just like uh, uh, the city is under attack and when it's under attack, it's being bombarded. And when it's bombarded, then uh, I, I was thinking of showing different 
the damage level of each uh, uh, building. So I've been using Figma to create all that stuff and also just like using Figma to uh, determine when the boss is mad and when it's attacking and, and different uh, different levels of, oh my God, I have an allergy. Um, and different levels of uh, uh, expressions from the boss. And the boss is called Skytron. And as you can see, this is Skytron is an evil bot. Like he, uh, this is, uh, it wasn't getting enough uh, batteries and enough love when I was growing up. And now it's mad and just like, it's a little bit uh, jealous of all the happy bots that live down there. But also something that we're going to do is just that uh, some of the stuff is that some of the people that you are going to be playing with, uh, when you play, you, you can see other people playing there. Uh, and some of them you won't know, but they will be part of Skytron team. And they, their mission is to attack you. So they're traitors, but you don't know who the traitor is. Only the traitors know who they are. And they don't know what other traitors are. That's another thing. Uh, I don't know. It's a, a little thing uh, because the Skytron is so evil that it has infiltrated the Robo Town. <laughs> and, and yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the progress on the on the buildings. Uh, also, I'm starting to create some uh, templates that I'm going to make available on uh, uh, on Figma, so everyone can just like create their own temp templates, like uh, for Twitter he headers and stuff like that. For example, like we love the bots, and the idea is that here uh, you can replace your own uh, bottle. For example, if you go to robotos.art and then you connect your stuff uh, for all Roboto holders. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this? Oh my God. Well, oh, I didn't connect my wallet. Anyway, when you connect your wallet, you see your, your stuff in your images. So for example, this image, let's say that this is your Roboto. You can go and replace that image, that art, with the art here and then it will replace everywhere in the template and it will look flawless but i copied this one and it doesn't look flawless oh my god and it should be like 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 an image like this that you have access as a robot holder uh and then it will just like replace everywhere where the templates are and then you can just export it and use it on your twitter or anything or you can even edit it you know instead of we love the bots it's just we hard the bots i don't know whatever you want because all of these are just like uh you like uh, it's editable so you can just like create your own thing too uh, but it's more like a template for you to get started uh and that's uh, that's another thing uh once i have at least like six templates i'm just going to put it out there for people to use uh, and then it just it's just like a file that is going to be continually being uh updated for everyone to use and i put a, a, a tutorial for all those who are like what how do i do this i can just put a tutorial just, just like how to do this okay but what we're here for is for a collaboration that I'm really, really excited about. And it's a collaboration with Dario de Siena. Uh, and he has a, 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 an, a, an NFT collection called Minds, Minds with double V, as in, uh, in like a mind as in mind in the head, but with double D. And it's a, it's a, a pieces that look like this. It's just like a, this uh, person, this uh, woman with long hair, just like with crazy stuff. And Dario has created an awesome collection of everything handmade, all the different traits and everything, just like rays and uh, auras and just like wings. And I don't know, a lot of stuff, really, really cool things. And um, I was lucky enough that Dario was like down to do a collaboration. He's, he's creating his own piece. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm really excited to see it once it's it's uh, we have some progress. Uh, and then I I started like sketching some of the stuff that uh, I'm, I'm intervening one of the pieces and then just like making it as a roboto. So some of the pieces are going to like for example the the mouth and all of this that will still be Dario's art. What it changes is like the stuff that is on top to make it more look like a Roboto. So like a mind Roboto uh, thingy. And, and Dari already saw this uh, before. He was cool with it. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, we can get started. So so that's it. I'm just going to start drawing. Let's see, uh, let's see what people are saying. Uh-uh. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see, people are saying, wow, Minds Hype, no mute. And this collab looks on fire, Minds Hype is real. Yeah, the Minds Hype is real. I'm, again, super excited that Dario is, is, is on board. 
and he has been super cool about this and uh we we're excited to we didn't know how to announce it that he has been really busy with other collaborations and his own drops and stuff so uh we had discussed it for for some time it's like hey okay let's, let's keep it on the down low and we're going to do some marketing around this like uh, during the week and everything today it's just like a just a live stream you know like of the art and then later we're going to do something more uh, on, on the, mar the marketing team is going to work on something together with that eel just like a hey, putting it out there so other people know uh, and the media and the New York Times and, and and Fortune magazine all of them are going to be talking about this oh my god I don't know actually I don't know <laughs> I don't think so uh, but that would be cool I don't know if any of you has a contact there we would love to know um, anyway so let's start vectorizing this thing what do you think you know what I mean? Do you know uh, what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. I don't know if you ever saw that uh, episode from uh, South Park, where South Park, where Butters is a pimp. <laughs> he's a, he's he starts like getting into the pimp pimp business, and he like it starts like getting. Uh, 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 I don't know, like like talking like a pimp. And well, he starts like, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like uh, uh, knowing other pimps in the pimp industry. And they all talk like that. And the one thing that they say is, like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then Butters like responds one of these, yes, I do know what you mean. I'm, I'm pretty butchering this, uh, but something like that. And it's pretty funny. So for whoever is a fan of South Park, um, you will love that episode, I'm sure. Okay, let's duplicate this. Actually, every episode from uh, where where Butters is the main character, I'm I'm all about it. I'm I'm always just like really excited to see those because I don't know they 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 feel really unique. Uh, Butters is such a cool uh, character that is like kind of naive, kind of a nerd, uh, but. He has his own thing. He's kind of like, I don't know. He He's still, he's kind of a, uh, he has his dark side. That's what I mean. And and and, and once, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of cool to see a character that is that has a little bit of that, right? Uh, okay, let's just start vectorizing this. What do you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's remove the fill so we can see what's, what's behind. Uh, perhaps we need just a, a shape here. And then this shape, let's add a fill, and then let's uh, let's cut this, subtract, and I didn't like that. What's going on? Why is that happening? Uh, what is that? What just happened? And, oh, you know what? I hate. Well, I don't know if I hate it or I like it. It's kind of a, an annoying thing on Figma that uh, uh, things have a, have to have a fill, you know, for them to act in a specific way. Anyway. Once they are like that, now you can do this. Okay. Look at that mohawk, baby. Look at that mohawk. Let's uh, change something here. Let's make those edges round, just like on the corners. Let's, uh, I'm trying to like that. I think we can, how should we do this? Mm, how should we do this? I mean, instead of just drawing it, could we do something easy? I think we could, if we do it like this, just as a line, you know, and then we add some weight to this line. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. And then to this line, uh, well, actually, we can keep it as a line and perhaps add a mask. Is that what we're going to do? You know what? I'm going to leave it like this for now, and I'm going to solve that once we start coloring. Because I think I don't have to turn it into a shape. I can just leave it as a as a line, put a mask, and then put an outline on top, and we'll be golden, baby. Golden. Okay, so what else? We need to uh, uh, maybe do a rectangle with corner radius. Uh, by the way, I need to copy the style of this. And then paste the style then add some corner radius around this just as a base of this a little antenna on the horn because it has a uh, little sensors you know very uh um very uh very powerful sensors uh that it has here this uh it's a very special bottle as you can see what are you talking about 
thought bubble. I don't understand. But continue, continue going. Let's put eight pixels here, eight pixels. Let's center this, this antenna. Look at that. This was a line. This is another thing that I don't know if I like about uh, how Figma works where lines, they don't, they usually do their own thing. They have, they live in their own space in their, their own uh, metaverse inside, uh, inside Figma. So, uh, so yeah, I, I would usually don't use just lines because they're kind of weird. So that was instead of a line, I actually use a shape. This is a rectangle instead of a, of a line. Uh, 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 I have more control. More control. Mucho más control. Let's, uh, I'm going to just cheat and duplicate this. And now let's use this as a base for the stuff we're building over here. This is an antenna. So uh, actually, let's see if we can just use an antenna asset. Uh, 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 because we have one of these. Uh, this is from the design system. And then we have an antenna. No, not that one. More like a, the radar. Yeah, this one. And maybe we can use it as a base, you know. And now I'm going to break it. Goodbye. Thank you so much for your service. And then we can just like use this, you know. Yeah, we have this and then, yeah, I like that. There you go. That was easy. Maybe we can rotate it a little bit, you know, because I think on our design it's a little bit rotated. Nice. Ha. Ha. So easy, baby. I like it when I'm able to just like uh, <laughs> just reuse stuff. Uh, now, what should we do here? Because, uh, so let me break it apart so, so you know what, what is happening here with this. Uh, 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 let me, let me uh, copy it. Let me paste it. Let me remove the lock. So you see what's, what's going on here. So uh, let's put 100%. Let's ungroup and let's remove this layer. So what's going on here, this is what I drew, right? So I drew this stuff. And this white stuff is not, but this is the base. So this is what actually I have to draw on top of this. And then this is what I'm vectorizing. Uh, now, some pieces, I think it would be better if I just make the horn. Like if I remove the horn from the original and, and I make my own horn, because for it to work, like to add this stuff and to add all this stuff, I think it will work much better if I make if we make our own horn, you know, because if not, then it's going to be a disaster. Yo, what? What I do? Oh, uh, yeah. You see, so so I think what I'm going to do is just like add white here, remove these horns, and I'm going to put my own horns. Yeah, that's what's going to happen, baby. Uh, let's see. It's not a mute. Let's see, is everyone still there? Can you still see my screen? <sighs> I get so uh, I get so paranoid when I'm on a live stream because like you don't know how many times this has happened when after an hour I'm just on the live stream, vibing, doing my best, just like, oh yeah, doing like like making jokes, like talking about very personal experiences, stuff that is like, wow. Pablo, you talked about like really deep stuff. And then I realized it was muted all along. All along. It was just on mute. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe you shouldn't be talking about those things, Pablo. Pablo, people don't want to listen. That is destiny just saying, Pablo, shut up. Shut up. Those things are not interesting. Nobody wants to to learn about your traumas and your insecurities and all those things that make you human. We don't want to hear about that. You're a machine. You're a roboto, Pablo. Now draw. <laughs> there you go. See, much better. We have control over this. I don't think I like this, though. Uh, I think this should be more like, oh, my God. Um, usually, I don't like adding more notes, but I think we all are just going to have to add a note here. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. We add a node. Let's uh, add a circle around this. And let's bend this circle to do orbiting. To do orbiting. Okay, just like this. Perhaps a little bit like this. Maybe we put it in the back. In the back. And then let's just paste the style. I don't know if I like it. Maybe we move these a little bit like this, you know, just to to make the shape a little more organic. <coughs> yeah, this is looking good. Just looking very dandy, very dandy. Where did I hear that? Potentially like an old movie. And it's like that's a cool expression. That will make me sound more. More like a native, native person, someone from the U.S. Very dandy. And then you realize that no, you were just watching an old movie. Nobody talks like that, Pablo. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's continue this. Let's uh, this. There's a little cable here called net connection that is just like potentially, uh, I don't know, connects some parts of the brain with a machine that is back there and translates in real time some elements, you know, and you can, th that way this mind's character can talk with other bottles, you know, and, and, and yeah, that's, that's what is happening. That's what is happening. Now we want to do, how should we do this? I think we can just draw it or yeah let's just draw it come on i usually i'm lazy that's a problem and when you're lazy you're trying to find shortcuts and you're like how can i do this with less less clicks and sometimes uh, uh, trying to find that shortcut takes you even more time and if i had just like oh uh, if i had just drawn the the piece it would have been easy, you know? Like, look, it's easy. I just drew it. That's okay. I didn't have to do a shortcut. I just drew it, and that's it. But sometimes I'm obsessed with finding that shortcut and finding that shortcut and trying to be more uh, efficient is actually the source of inefficiency because you waste too much time trying to find that perfect balance of shortcut and quality. That's another thing. Whoever makes shortcuts ends up paying at the end because you take shortcuts and then uh, at the end the quality is not there, you know. And then you realize that you realize it's not what you wanted, and then you have to do it again. I'm not good. Not a good situation to be on. So, don't be like me. Don't take shortcuts. Do the work. And, and yeah, your future self is going to thank you. Your future self is going to be prouder of having done that. Oh, my God. What happened? Oh, Figma, you made it into one single shape. No. No, Figma. No. Bad Figma. Bad Figma. It was you, Pablo. It wasn't Figma. Yep. Figma should be smart enough to say, that. Pablo, are you sure you want to do that? <clears throat> Don't you hate sometimes when, when apps do that to you? You're making a decision. You have done your research. You have done like everything that needs to be done before making that call, before clicking on that button. And then the app questions you. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? Is this what you really want to do? And then you start questioning yourself. I don't know. Now, now that you ask me, damn, I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Why, why, why are you making me doubt myself? I don't know. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> You're like, no, I'm never sure. <laughs> of course not. Don't you see? Don't you understand? <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just by rotating the circle, now it looks like 
Like it's part of like, I, I, I almost imagine like unplugging and plugging this, it makes like a hitching sound like, and then a release of air, you know? But a little bit more thinner, a little thinner sound. And then when you put it on, it makes like a fart sound, but a really tiny fart sound. <laughs> okay, let's get to the next part. Uh, this part, how should we do this, baby? How should we do this? Let's do first this. Let's do the internal, the divisor. And let's just do a square. And yeah, is this what we want to do? Again, Pablo, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do that? No. Never sure. Don't question me. And then you make a decision. Now, of course I'm sure. Why why do you ask me? And then you make you make that decision just because you're like me. You're like, of course. And then later you realize, oh, it wasn't. I should have not done that. I should have not gotten mad. I should have listened to the little UI asking me, are you sure? I wasn't trying to be annoying, Pablo. He doesn't even know how, oh, no, no, no. Not like that. Okay. So let's uh, move it just a little bit. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just like this. Hmm. Yeah, like that. Okay, and now let's add a fill and let's put them together. Boom. Now let's remove the fill so we can see what's happening. Now here, something that we can do is just that add a global corner radius and then see how by adding a global corner radius, it just uh, like it adds a corner radius here. So it's not just as pointy as and also the corners over here. So all I did here was add a corner radius here on the on the union. Pretty tricky, pretty cool. Now let's add some corner radius here too. Taka taka. And then maybe. Huh. Now. You know what? No, there should be corner radius on both sides, right? Yo, no. Yeah, this should be all the way to the top. And maybe the corner radius is uh, 56. Yeah, it should be good. And then maybe le less, less than that. Maybe just like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that. Love that. And then we put this one below. And then if we add a fill to this, let's make it like a dark gray. Well, that was not it. Let's add a fill. Not re there you go. And then we change this. Well, not again. Oh my God. There you go. Something like that. That that yeah, that will look good. Okay, and now and now now for the final act. Now let's add a little bit of corner radius here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Yeah, 32 should be good. Let's add a little bit of corner radius here. Los 32. Bellísimo. Mamma mia, Diosito, que bonito. Now, let's duplicate this baby. <coughs> Actually, let's, let's add a fill. Just a light gray for now, you know. Let's put it behind. And, well, we don't need this piece. piece. And now we can, yeah, let's copy the style. Let's put it into one shape. No, just like that. Bellissimo. Precioso, me encanta. Now we have a little piece here. I don't know what this is. This is like an attachment. It's a chip that is attached. It's making it just like pew, pew, integrate into the mind's head, you know, so it gives it a, Augmented reality vision. Just like you don't you don't know what's going on. Just it's some crazy stuff. Crazy. Sad a fill. 
Uh, it gives his enhanced abilities, you know, with this chip that is integrated into his head. Quickly, it can access information. It can see things in a clear way. And, and can navigate Roboto land with ease. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. Yes, butters. Again, that that show, I'm a big fan of uh, South Park. I haven't been able to see South Park. The, I don't know, did they do? I think they just, uh, they just announced another deal with, I don't know who it was. I know that right now they're on HBO. You can watch all the seasons on HBO. But they signed something where it's like, now they're going to be making a movie every year or a couple of movies. So weird, but so cool too. Where it's like, wow, Trey Parker and Matt Stone are still relevant. What if Trey Parker and Matt Stone get into NFTs? They should. Un, dos, tres, cuatro. But no, right? No, 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 no. Let's... They already have really good deals going on. <laughs> they already have pretty cool stuff going on. Don't, don't, don't come and take or thing. It's just like how on YouTube, like how suddenly like celebrities started getting into YouTube. It's like, no, like, no, stop it. This was supposed to be special. <laughs> this was supposed to be outside of that world. It's like, no, 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 no. We're going to take this too from you. Screw you. This is ours now too. <sighs> I'm sounding like an old man. Back in my day, YouTube used to be a fun place. Back in my day, that's, this is going to be us. Back in my day, NFTs used to be the wild, wild west. Now it's all mainstream. Why am I talking like that? Where, where, where's that accent coming from? I don't know. I, English is my second language. So whenever I try to make accents or anything, it's, just, it's terrible. Terrible. Muy terrible. So I'm pretty sure that I just offended someone with that accent. I didn't even know. What I, what I was trying to do, preach sure someone. That's that's how I speak. What are you trying to say? That's my accent, Pablo. How insensitive! And then I'm going to be on Twitter apologizing. I'm an idiot. Don't take me seriously. Nobody takes you seriously. Well, okay. Well, continue not taking me seriously. You're canceled, Pablo. For that really bad accent, that really f unfunny characters that you create, you cancel. And I'll be like, yes, I deserve that. I totally deserve it. Let's add a little bit of. Uh, Round edges to other little curves because this is a little cable, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, do you know uh, what I mean? Anyway, Matt Stone and Matt Stone is one of the creators, and Matt Stone and uh, Trey Parker, the creators of South Park. I saw some something in the news where it's like now they just signed a contract for 10 more seasons and 20 movies. I was like, what? They're like in season 20 already. But yeah, that's what I, I grew up watching. So it was pretty cool to see that they're still relevant. Because that makes me feel young. That makes me feel relevant. Back in my day. Okay, let's continue drawing this. So another thing that I've, oh my God, so many things that I want to work on. 
I, I, I need help. I need help from some uh, other artists and I'm reaching out to other people to help me just like uh, on some illustration. That way I can just like uh, continue as creative director and some people can like actually help me with some of the stuff that, I, that I'm doing. Whereas like A, for example, on the game, like other people could be helping me with the art, you know? Just like A, the art style and everything. It's already defined. It's just like the, the need now is uh, to get uh, others to just like a scale this uh this is talent and 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 do things themselves you know give delegate responsibilities so if you know an artist of, or if you're an artist who will be down to help the you know like do cool stuff on the figmas on the figmas happy would we'll love to talk to you and see if we can just like work together. You will be okay compensated. <laughs> eh, I mean, I don't expect too much. No, I mean, whatever, whatever works for you, you know? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I had another idea of a song. For those who don't know, I also, uh, I write songs. So I was thinking of a Roboto song. The Roboto song. And the Roboto song is going to be uh, inspired by a lot of uh, like 80s songs that I really love. Like a little bit of Kraftwerk, a little bit of Queen. And, and anyway, it's just something that I'm working on the side too. So many things, Pablo. Just finish something. Finish one thing. Focus on one thing, Pablo, before you jump into the next thing. Leave me alone! <laughs> Who are you? Who are you to micromanage me? I'm just saying, Pablo. You need to focus. You need to focus. Anyway, doing that uh, uh, song, and I started last night because I, I was flying, and you know when you're on a flight... And like that's the time when there's no internet, there's nothing you can do. So like your brain starts like just doing stuff, and that's when I was just like start to come up with an idea for a song, like really simple. It's kind of dumb, but I don't know. But I think it's gonna be cool. Just like dumb as in like it's not very complicated or anything. Just like it to be. We love the bots, robot the love. We love the bots, R-O-B-O-T-O-S. And it's just like a, with vocoder and with synthesizers. I think it's going to be dope. That is my opinion. And you can agree with that or leave. I'll block you. You're canceled for me. <laughs> Sorry. Ay, Diosito. Ay, Diosito. Just like this. Let's duplicate. Let's put it in behind. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Just so it's it's kind of like a headphone thing. Kind of like a headphone with special uh, powers. I don't know what it is. But I think it's cool. Yeah. I think, oh, man, this needs some love. This doesn't look, the perspective on this is not great. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, yeah. So uh, I think uh, tonight, uh, it's one of those things that I cannot, I cannot sleep until I have something. So. I'm pretty sure that late at night I'm going to wake up and I'm just going to start working on that song because it's just like in my head constantly. And I'm pretty sure that my girlfriend is going to be like listening from the other room to me speaking, doing like a, ro <laughs> like a robot voice in the microphone, in this microphone. She understands though. She supports me. It's a... Uh, I'm lucky. I have a someone who's also an artist, 
She also has her own thing and I admire her. She's awesome. And she's just like, I don't know, but also like supports me on my stupid little things too, you know? She, she would jump and she's like, yeah, 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 let's do it. Let's do it together. You need always try to find someone like that. Someone who support, who has their own stuff, who has their own crap. Because it's like that also motivates you. That also like, like feels like, oh man, look at this person. It's so awesome. You know, um, she or he like it's has their own thing going on. And then that motivates you to do your own thing too. So, yeah, find someone like that and find someone who, who will be like down to help you on your stupid stuff too, you know? That, that That's how it works. That's how it works for this old man. This old man. You don't have to listen to me. But you should. You totally should. Okay, so let's make a little cable. Again, these cables are have their own sound effects. That's just, those are the some of the sound effects that these cables have. I'm pretty excited about developing that kind of art too. <laughs> we need a sound engineer who creates all those. Kinds of sounds that are part of this uh, universe, very particular sounds. I don't know where this sound engineer is going to find the source of these sounds. Is people still there? Okay, hold on. Can you still see me? Yes. Oh my god, that paranoia. It's not on mute. Paranoia that things are not working. Worst fear. Worst fear. Now, let's turn this into a shape. So how do you do that? You go and you say outline stroke. Outline stroke, and now, boom, baby. Now, it's vectors. Vectores. And now they can do your bidding. I don't know if I'm liking this ray. It's kind of cheesy. It's not. Uh, it's, it's not fitting that well. Let's uh, let's see if we can transform it. I mean, I sketch it that way, but not because you sketch it that way. It means that it has to be that way. You know, it's just a sketch. Don't take it too seriously, Pablo. You can change it. You have the power. The power is in your hands, Pablo. The power of art and vectors. So, yeah, I think uh, this is like a little bit longer. Just to give it room also for this, you know? Yes, we know, Pablo. You know what I mean? Yes, Pablo, we, we, we know what you... But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, Pablo, I, I think uh, we, we got... But I, I don't think you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what the problem is? Is that it's like behind this. So it looks weird that it's behind. Because it, it looks like it should be here, you know? So let's see if we can do that. It's going to be a little more difficult. It's going to require more work, but I believe in us. I believe in us. You shouldn't, Pablo. You shouldn't believe in yourself. I'm an optimist. Subtract. No! What the, what the hell did I do? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it all the way. What? Hold on. What's going on? This. Let's put it all the way. Oh, there you go. Okay. And now let's subtract. There you go. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And now let's use that same circle. Command C. Command V. And now let's subtract that. See, something, something here feels a little bit better. But still, we can, no. I think 
I think what we need to adjust is the one in the in the back. Oh my god, now it looks horrible. No, no, no. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, I think that is solving something. <laughs> now let's put this. Yeah, there you go. That's what's going on. There you go. If we put this on top and then this behind, then it feels like it's, yeah, there you go. Now the perspective feels a little bit better. It doesn't look all stitched together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, man, a lot of more stuff to do. What else? What should we do? Let's do just one more piece because we still have the jetpack to do. We still have this part where it shows the interior robotics of it. You can see that apparently the, I don't know, the panel, like, I don't know. She lost the panel. <laughs> she was not being very careful with herself, <laughs> with her robot body, and she lost the panel. Maybe that's why she's going to Robot City, you know, to Robotown. She's she, she's going to go a replacement for this uh, for this piece because there's oil leaking, and it's just like vulnerable to just like dust and, and stuff. That's why she's going to Robot City, Robot Land, Robot Town, <laughs> to just fix her little thing. Okay, let's do just one last piece uh, before we go. I think uh, I'm going to be updating uh, stuff on on uh, on Discord, just like the updates of, of what's going on. Uh, I think that's so if you want to see how the art is looking you should follow us on discord by the way this is going to be animated this needs to be like the visor and also oh i forgot hold on i know that there was something yeah there was a little like a mouth behind oh you know what's going on i had it right first where this was looking like a piece, like a single piece. So, yeah, that's what I need to do. Okay, let's see if uh, if that solves it. Let's put this over here. We don't need your horn. Do your thing, horn. And let's uh, let's put it like this, and then yeah. So. Yeah, that's what we need to do. It needs to be a little bit bigger and it has to show volume. And that's how this is going to work behind. It's going to look good. So we need to do this that way. So instead of uh, an actual uh, circle, we need a rectangle. A rectangle, Pablo, what are you talking about? So let's put a rectangle and let's put a 500 and let's move this rectangle over here. Let's... Uh, Let's add a little stroke. This is trips, tips and tricks with Pablo. Come, everybody join us. Let's put it in the center. Let's make it a little bit smaller, perhaps around there. Apparently, like, even small. Yeah, like around here. This is what we want. And then this piece, we can move it like this. See, now it has volume. What? Yeah, so now uh, and we could potentially make it less circular. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, how could we do it? Hmm. Yeah, because w w it's just so, so it has a little bit of... Um... Anyway, I'm going to leave it like that for now. I think, I, I, I think that's what we want. And I'm going to put this behind, just put it way behind. And then this is going to be the, uh, the stuff that joins it. Yeah, this much better. So, because now it has depth, you know, now this depth and this depth are like, 
are are I don't know they, they they look fine so we got this now we need to put this behind there you go bow baby mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, how we do it this is how we do it what is that song about it's an old song from my times don't judge isn't that just like uh kids in the block or something like that async damn it is i'm pretty sure it is one of those songs well i'm a kid of the 90s well teenager of the 90s kid of the 80s is that is that a thing which translates to an old man I actually like this one better. <laughs> yeah, this one looks very, uh, I don't know how to say it, like very, very square. Just doesn't have, yeah, this, ah, man. I think, yeah. No, I, I think we got it right. I think we already had it. But this was a good experiment, you know, to see how this this could have been another way. But it's not going to be my way. I do it my way. All my references I'm from old people. Cuz I'm an old man. Okay, cool. So, that's as far as we went. We try different things. Uh, this is going to to look pretty dope. Uh, I need to just put more time into this. Uh, let's go over here. Let's put the chat just to see what people are saying. Um, pretty excited about this. This is going to be pretty, uh, uh, I don't know, like I'm excited to see what Dario makes, uh, vectorizing this stuff. I wish it was just all handmade. Next collection I make or something is going to be handmade because it's so much easier. Vectorizing takes so much time, um, but the results are really good, so I'm not complaining. Uh, so that's going to be uh, I'm going to, like I'm going to give you an update on Discord, uh, just like a, a, when the pieces uh, come together, or maybe I don't. Maybe the airdrop is just a piece, the final piece. You know, this was just a hint of what's going to happen. Yeah, maybe that's going to happen. Uh, yeah, I, I cannot. I, I can't do that. I have to share. I'm an over-sharer. I'm a spammer. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, Pablo shares so much and keeps so open. No, I'm just a spammer. <laughs> okay, let's see what you're saying over here. I'm learning so much. Hey, that's so cool, Koso. Uh, Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. Is Montel Jordan? Oh, okay. I, I I thought it was like like an NSYNC or Backstreet Boys or something like that. Uh, yep. Very well, GPD puppet. Yeah, first one looks so much better. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, just figure out how to chat in here. Oh, Megan. Yeah. Well, welcome to the chat, Megan. Everyone else, thank you so much for for doing this, uh, for being here, and and having your support is awesome. And I'm just uh, excited to have this collaboration with Dario. Um, this is going to be a drop. The, the logistics of the drop are still uh, a work in progress. We're going to determine how to do that. Uh, the collaboration, uh, the community team are determining that, uh, but just like something where like, hey, the people who are on Discord and or who are robot holders, uh, you know, just be there and we'll make an announcement or something and you'll be uh, potentially get one of these pieces. Uh, and that's it. Thank you so much. I'm going to continue doing more live streams. Now they're back home. I'm back home. I was traveling all week. So if you saw me just like, where's Pablo? Well, I was doing stuff. I was doing family, family related stuff and but that is uh, solved uh, and 
um, I'm a little bit more calm that that is solved and now I'm back and now I can uh, spend more time on this and uh, just excited. So thank you so much everyone here, it's pa Pablo's family, that's me. <laughs> okay, adiosito, hasta luego, bye bye, y let's put some music.